Okay, next we can explain about conditional control statements. It is sometimes convenient to specify a control condition by a conditional statement rather than a boolean control function. Symbolized by an if then else statement in the following manner p colon if condition then micro operations else micro operations. If the condition is true then the micro operations enclosed within the parenthesis after the word then is executed that is if condition is true this will be executed else this set of micro operations will be executed. In any case the control function p must occur before anything to be done. The con conditional control statement is more of a convenience than a necessity it enables the writing of clearer statements that are easier for people to interpret. Example t2 colon if c is equal to 0 then f is equal to 1 else f is equal to 0. So uh, when the timing variable t2 occurs and c is equal to 0 then this micro operation will be executed otherwise this micro operation will be executed. This is actually we are just uh, writing uh, just like we can say that for loop and while loop or something like that. Uh, we can express this in a single line. This is equivalent to the two statements in a conventional way that is c dash t2 f gives 1 or c t2 colon f gives 1. Instead of writing these two statements we can write in a single statement like this is more uh, high level. That is about the control conditional control statements. Here the uh, if then this condition then else this all these are actually a part of the control function itself but we have we have rearranged that into this side. When writing control statement one must realize that the condition stated after the word if is part of the control function and not part of a micro operation statement. The condition must be clearly stated and must be implementable with a combinational circuit.